Citizen Center. And we ask that you continue to guide us in the way that we have gone for the 40 years so that we will continue to be role models to the younger ones coming up and that they will see what we have done and follow in our footsteps to serve the community and others around them. And we also ask that as we are about to receive this meal, let us remember that all we have is God's gift, including this food before us. This is also a moment to call to mind those who are hungry. Bless, O oh Lord, these gifts, which through your goodness and the work of human hands we are about to receive. As this food strengthens and sustains us, may we strengthen and sustain others out of the riches of your grace. Lord, your gifts, to, let us use, bless and Lord these gifts to our use and to your service through Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Denzel. That was very nice. Yeah. Well, you We're fortunate today to have Joan Capra, who is a violinist, going to struggle among us and play uh, in tunes. Um, and I'm, it's such a sunny, beautiful day. It's springtime all over. Rather than speechify at great length, uh, let's get on with it. We'll break it up, and you'll hear from um, Jackie Bunn, who is chair of the Senior Citizens Council, which is one of the reasons we're allowed to exist, and Steve Eklund, who is a deputy mayor, and Sheila Marcotte, who is a councilwoman from East Chester, and I don't know if you all know, Jean Gessoff is here. Jean, yeah, stand up. Jean was the <laughs> When she left Tepahoe and went to Bride Hook, where she was head of the seniors in the beautiful, beautiful building. So you'll also hear a couple of words, I think, from Gilda Press, who is our dear, dear friend who solves all our problems. <laughs> So, bon appétit.
we can do some more speechifying. <laughs> so I want to introduce Jackie Bunn, who is chair of the Sunni Citizens Council, which is our umbrella, our guiding force, our sponsor, and it is a wonderful group of women. Lady Lynn Mann is here with us today. She is current treasurer. Julie Jackson, who is now a member of the Takaho Senior. And you all know Jackie Bunn, through the Song Pipers, and she is our premier judge of the Halloween contest. And she will be our liaison next year because Pat Brandon is married. I just would like you to say a few words. Yes. This is a sure way to make food come. You get up to say something, you go to the bathroom, and then you come back and get to do it. It's very, very nice to be here. I asked over here, uh, raise your hand. You said you made the phone call to arrange the weather. It's absolutely gorgeous, and it's a beautiful venue. And it's just so great to see everybody looking so happy and smiling. It's a fun group. I'm very pleased and honored to be your incoming liaison because I enjoy spending time with you. Got to know you through Song Pipers, and then it was just a natural flow of the Senior Citizens Council. Your 40th anniversary is a real milestone because Barbara and I, we think you were probably the first in the state for a senior organization. So you're very much pioneers and trendsetters. You were established in 1970, the Senior Citizens Council, which consists of 25 volunteers who fundraise for you. We are very, very fortunate to get lovely aid from the local governments, grants, but it certainly doesn't cover all the programs. So we do the heavy lifting and apply to the community fund or get state grants so that we can continue doing these programs. That's what the Senior Citizen Council does. Well, then in 1974, you know, Bronx was over there looking over at you guys thinking they're having a lot of fun. What the heck's going on? So that's when Bronx came on board. So you are very much, both centers predated what was going on either statewide or across the nation. So I congratulate you on being such forward thinkers. Now I have to tell you, I talked to my father this morning. And you know, I get most of my material from him. He did say to wish you all very well. He, my father is 86, and I have to call him at the office because he works full time six days a week. And he can't be bothered answering the phone at home. So I check in with him, and he said to wish you well and to remind you how valuable you all are. That's because you have silver in your hair, gold in your teeth, and lead in your feet. Councilwoman Marcotte, 
does a great job for you, but I don't have to tell you that because you know that. You see her all the time. You see her working with you. Also, I'm not sure if I, uh, if Gilda was introduced, but Gilda Press is also here from the town of East Chester. Yeah. She's the big cheese with the seniors in town hall, so if you need something done, you know where to go. You can go to me, but if you want to get it done, you go to Gilda. And of course, I, you know, Jean Gessoff is here as well. Jean was with the town, and she was your leader for how many years? Many years, Jean, correct? Yes, seven. Seven years. Seven years. Wonderful. Thank you very much. But as, as lunch is being served, let me be very brief. If all senior citizens group were disbanded, and it didn't exist anymore, and we had to start all over again and figure out what's the best way to put a group together and how to run it and how to manage it and the things to do and for places to go and all the programs that come out of the senior center, this group would be the leader. This would be the prototype of all things senior because this is such a special group. This really is a special group and there is such a level of energy and everybody is so spry and so energetic and so tenacious. It's incredible. You have no idea. I go, I go all over the place. I'm all over the county on occasion. I see everybody everywhere. This group is absolutely magnificent. And let me also, also, pay great compliment to Barbara. What a wonderful yeah. Yeah. She's a great guy, and she knows I'm a pushover. So anytime she needs anything, Tony, do me a favor. We've got the kids coming. How about a couple of pizzas? Done? All right, Barbara, no problem. Whatever you need, you got it. And she pushes my button, don't worry. But I'm happy to help out and have a great, great luncheon. Thank you, everyone.
when you go home today and you're all soul think you don't know what to eat today, think that, you know, call for a lunch reservation up at Lake Isle and then we can, um, we can pick you up as well and you can come over. So I hope you step by for that as well. And one other thing that I really do need to say is how special I think that Barbara Spiders is. Director, but as a person, as a human being, I think she is very special, and you are very, very lucky to have her as she is to have all of you. So, happy anniversary. Resourcefulness, 
all of you are resourceful people. One is resilient. And all of you are resilient. And the third is, you're willing to take risks. And it's very, very true. So as far as the three R's, or as so many of you have said, have said it's the water in Tepaha. Congratulations on 40 wonderful years of service to our community. Sorry, I could not join you today in your celebration. I told him I had charged, I was charging my phone again in case I had to call 911. <laughs> but he also said that he had arranged to have a flower arrangement delivered with raffle tickets. So, I'm going to hand it to you the whole. It's an absolutely beautiful spring bouquet from John Costanza. Jackie, would you pull the winning number? I'll pull the title. Okay, that way I can win. Oh, all right. And the lucky number is, well, seven, nine, six. The last three is five, eight, nine. Oh, my friend, yay! Don't kill me. Much to you. Thank you. 